We're gonna scan the beetle at some point. We're gonna scan the bus and some other cool tools and stuff that we have in the shop. There is the first print, 3D print that I've done using the 3D scanner. Hey guys, this is the Creality Otter Light wireless 3D scanner. Let's check it out. Okay, let's see what's in the case. Very solid. So we'll use this to calibrate the scanner. USB to USC adapters. So these are some markers. This looks like a quick start guide. All right, it's a little owl that they send. So this is your test subject that they send. So we'll be scanning this and seeing how well it scans. I'm sure it's gonna do fine. Oh yeah, there it is. Very nice. All right, so this is the light bridge. This attaches to the scanner. Turntable. Looks like it comes with everything you need. There's the turntable, so we'll put our subject on here and we'll turn it around. And now what we're gonna do is put the scanner on the light bridge, screw it down, and that's it. Now it's connected. We've charged it, got a full charge. And this is where the magnet goes for your phone. Just like that. So we wanna scan this right here. Should be working, there we go. Join. Okay, here we go. Light bridge firmware is ready. Please connect to the scanner. All right, there we go. All right. Scanner upgraded, all right, cool. New scan. All right, start scanning, there we go. All right guys, we're scanning and we're in the optimal zone. I'm gonna try to stay in that, this area right here where it says good, optimal, or good. Here we go. We are scanning, guys. And we're in the optimal position. Let's stop there and see what happens. Complete scan. Let's go to home page. So there's the file there. We just scanned it on the phone. Let's see if we can export it to the computer where we can see it bigger and it's a little easier to work with. Hit these little three little dots here. Export project. We're gonna scan the QR code. So you go over to computer and hit import from mobile phone. Then you hit this scan QR code. It's gonna scan in that QR code, it just did it. Now it looks like it's exporting. And it says on here, receiving project. All right, scanning is complete. There it is. Looks pretty good. There's a few imperfections. Let's see, uh, there's a one step, one click processing. Let's see what this does. It's processing, now it's meshing. Color mapping. All right guys, check it out. Not only can the Creality Otter Light scan small items with amazing detail, you can also scan medium and large size items. I've got this wheel off of Porsche 914 that I wanna scan. I wanna see if I can get some new ones made or possibly make some smaller ones for a model. This is perfect application, guys. You can scan the original item. You can size it any size you want. You can make a tiny one for a model car, you can make a larger one, and you can have these manufactured. All right, guys, there it is. The owl is all scanned. It looks great. You can see there's a little bit of the turntable that we captured as well. So we'll grab the uh, lasso tool and clean that up real quick. Get rid of any of those little imperfections and then we'll get it ready for the printer. We'll send it to the 3D printer and print one, see how it looks. But you can see here, we're getting the uh, lasso tool set up and you can clean up all the fragmented pieces. There you can see it's rendered, showing it with the color, which is pretty impressive. It actually captured all the colors really, really nice. Okay, here's where we're gonna send it to the printer so that we can print it in 3D on the 3D printer. 
we're gonna send it to the file, name the file, export it, and it'll export as an object. We're exporting it now. And we're gonna send it over to the 3D printer that we have in the other room. All right, guys, you can see now we're on the other computer. This is the get computer it that's in my wife's crafting room. And we've got it on the plate, and we're just going through the normal process that you would do if you're gonna print something on your 3D printer. All right, guys, check it out. There it is. There is the first print, 3D print that I've done using the 3D scanner. I've never used a 3D scanner before. It's pretty cool. I think for my first time, it came out pretty good. So we went ahead and did two. We did a black one and a white one, and they both came out with super high detail. I can't believe how minute the details are on these things it was really cool and this is the first time i've ever done it so i'm sure once we get used to the program a little more and and the details that we can get even finer results but for the first time that's pretty cool you look at the original here and it looks pretty good guys this thing's pretty awesome if you're looking for a wireless 3d scan it comes with a light bar and everything i mean this is this is pretty convenient you can literally walk around with this thing with your phone connected wirelessly and scan objects outside like a car check this out i'm going to scan the front of this bus i took the nose of this bus off and i want to scan it i want to make a t-shirt out of it so i'm going to save the print and we're going to print it and make t-shirts but you can see how big you can scan a whole car maybe in the next video we'll scan the entire car and see how it looks all right guys check them out this thing is awesome click on the link below we're going to scan the beetle at some point we're going to scan the bus and some other cool tools and stuff that we have in the shop and so look forward to some future videos on this. But yeah, go check them out. Creality, this is the Creality Otter Light. This thing is awesome, guys. Go check it out. We'll see you on the next one. Later. Check out my discount code. Let me know if you get one. All right, see ya. See you on the next one.